I'm guessing most of those rocks out there are normally underwater. <laughs> you know, that is one of the most beautiful scenic spots we have oh. in the entire United States. That water is such a pristine blue color. It's amazing up there at Lake Tahoe. That is a beautiful area. Yeah. Okay, my friends. Well, we've got a couple of changes. Uh, first of all, that little storm system that moved through the area yesterday did indeed generate some shower activity. A little shot right around early Easter morning, and then again, another little round kind of came through in the afternoon. And now in the wake of that, we have clearing skies, so it's going to be a nice evening. I don't anticipate any big problems or any big kind of deluges or anything like that. Tomorrow, though, things are going to be a little bit on the dicey side, and I'll show you why here in just a second. This is the high so far today. 51 degrees in Boise. The average high is now supposed to be 60 degrees, so we were been 9 degrees cooler than normal for this time of the year in the wake of that storm. Nowhere near the record, thank goodness, of 83 degrees for this date. So this is our one storm system that's now moving out. But you see that little fe feature right off the coastline there of Northern California and Oregon. This, for the most part, as it tracks down, is going to be moving across Northern California, Nevada, and into Utah. Let me show you how this is going to be playing out. Because of the proximity to the, of the storm to the state of Idaho, I think we're going to be seeing at least a mixture of clouds with some occasional sunshine tomorrow and on Wednesday as well. Then the low is going to be tracking across the Intermountain West, moving into central Utah by Wednesday. Again, we're going to be on the extreme northern fringe of this moisture canopy. So do I think we're going to be seeing showers? No. Do I think that Utah and Nevada will be seeing some shower activity out of this? Absolutely. So it's going to be beneficial for Northern California and for this area of the Intermountain West. But because, again, of that proximity, I think that there's at least a slight chance of some, of some occasional showers in the forecast for us tomorrow and then again also on Wednesday. So here's the future cast. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, there's the low starting to form down to the southwest of us. Here we go. Tomorrow evening, you can see the low now moving right across Northern California and moving into Nevada. Let me take you now into Wednesday. There goes the low to the south of us. Counterclockwise rotation. We're right on the outer fringe of that moisture canopy. So if I had to pick one of the two days that had the best chance of generating some shower activity, it would probably be during the early morning hours on Wednesday. Then the low begins to track off rapidly to the east. And as it does, it will allow drier air to start moving in on Thursday and Friday. So the 70 outlook then for the Treasure Valley it's going to be close, but no cigar. We'll be seeing a mixture of clouds and sunshine tomorrow. Probably mostly cloudy skies on Wednesday. Again, a slight chance of some showers tomorrow, a slight chance on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we'll get clearing skies. Friday looks beautiful with another storm expected to move in late Saturday and Sunday. We'll see how strong that's going to be in the days to come. The mountains will see a few showers, especially on Wednesday, with clearing skies Thursday and Friday and a better chance of some showers on Saturday and Sunday. So I hope you enjoyed your holiday weekend. I did. Good. Enjoyed it. A lot. Good. Natalie?